Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our channel. So I'm getting Amelie ready for school right now. And of course, I will address the title of this video. But we are also going to have just like a regular vlog besides me telling you guys the story time of what happened during the weekend. I need to try to distract myself by vlogging, you know, from the situation. So that's why I want to vlog today and just make it as normal as possible. Make it kind of like if you guys were just visiting, trying to get my head out of the situation and trying to just talk to you guys, like if you guys were literally here with me. So yeah, I am doing Amelie's hair so I can take her to school. We have to go pretty soon, so. Baby, finish your breakfast, please. Okay. Do you want a high pony or a low pony? A low pony. A low pony. Mommy, tell them what happened to your car. Yes, baby, I'm gonna tell them. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them later, after you go to school. Okay. Do you wanna tell them a little no. bit? Amelie's gonna tell you guys a little bit of what happened. So, we were driving and there was a other car next to us and them and me and then we're both doing this, um, what do we call it again? Huh? The brakes? Yeah. Then we're both doing the, the brakes and then them crashed. That's how you saw it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And what do and you think? And then mommy's car was spinning. Mm-hmm. And what do you think about it? Bad. Bad? Yeah, because I don't like that. My poor baby. Who was all in the car with us? Lenani and Leo and me and, and me and mommy and Kathleen and then Lenani and it's gonna feel good. Yeah. Yeah, because her, her, her neck on the door her told me today. Yeah. Yeah. So just to give you guys a little preview, because I do want to sit down and just like tell you guys everything that happened. Hi. But the most important thing, you guys, is that we are Mommy, all. Oh, sorry. Cammy wants to say hi. <laughs> she got mad. There you go. Say hi. Hi. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> yeah, that's it. What else do you want to say? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. Just say anything you want to say. Okay. Anyways. But the most important thing is that we are all 100% healthy and fine with no injuries whatsoever. God was seriously looking out for us because when you guys see yeah. my car, if you guys see it in the thumbnail, you guys would have thought somebody got injured. But yeah. we're all good. Right, baby? Yeah. Nothing hurt? No. No. No? I'm fine. Because you guys were all yeah. buckled, huh? Yeah, yeah, too. Okay, you guys. So I just got back from dropping Amelie off at school. Leo is back there having breakfast. Baba. Hi, baby. And he's watching Coco Melon. Hopefully, he stays there for a little bit. A little bit entertained with Coco Melon. You want that? Okay. I want candy. That's the only candy, okay? And throw your trash away, please. Okay, Mom. There you go. The crash happened on Saturday. Today is Monday, so it happened two days ago. And it's been really hard to like process everything and to kind of like, like at first I was in a lot of shock and I couldn't believe what happened. I wasn't able to like process it right then and there until like two hours later where I like, I was like, what the heck just happened? How did this happen? How is like, how am I not in my car right now? I went in Luis's Jeep. He was driving in front of us when the crash happened happened so thankfully he turned around right away and um you know was there but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and start from the beginning because i feel like i'm just gonna be all over the place if i don't and then i will explain to you guys like how i was feeling and everything and yeah just everything that happened so on saturday we went to my in-laws to pick up luis's jeep because it was over there and the plan was for him to for me to go with him obviously spend a little bit of time there and then He'll drive his Jeep back and I will drive my car back. And Leilani, my sister-in-law, came with us. So she was in the car with me, how Emily said. It was me in the driver's seat, her in the passenger seat, and then the three kids in the back in their car seats. Leo, Emily in the middle, and Cammy on the other side. So we were driving down a road which the speed limit was a 40. I was driving at 40 miles per hour, regular speed, and I saw that there was a truck in front of me, like not super close to me or anything like that. Yeah. 
but the truck had a trailer and the trailer didn't have lights and I saw that this truck was like slowing down so my first thought was I'm gonna switch lanes so as I got closer to the truck the truck came to a complete stop and before I tried switching I realized that there was a car in the other lane so this is me the car this other car is on this lane and then here's the truck so I try to do this I tried to do this but there was a car on this side so because I didn't want to hit the trailer from the back and I was like this is too fast like I'm going too fast for that car to be to for that truck to be at a complete stop at a 40 mile per hour speed limit I didn't want to hit the trailer head-on so I swerved to not hit it but then didn't realize that there was a car on this side so I hit the I hit the trailer on this side like the passenger side in the front I hit it and then I also hit this car on the side I literally keep replaying that over and over again on in my head and I just can't take that image out of my head it just keeps replaying and replaying and every time it happens it gives me so much anxiety because I had never been in a crash before that trailer did have didn't have any lights and it also had on secure load so as soon as I hit it like everything not everything but a lot of things flew out of the trailer because it, it wasn't secure nothing was tied or anything like that that's why that truck came to a complete stop to turn he was trying to turn but came to a complete stop with no lights no signals so I just it just happened so fast as well it was really hard for me to like react fast because crashes just happen in a split of a second so um, they did give him a citation for having unsecured load and no lights and they gave me a citation for driving over the speed limit which I wasn't but since I did try to swerve I did try to speed to not hit the car so I don't I don't even know I keep thinking about how I could have done so many things differently but then at the same time like it was a really hard situation to get out of because there was a car on the side and there was that truck completely stopped so it was really hard to avoid a crash because I didn't see any lights I didn't see any turning signals I didn't see any hazards on nothing so so yeah it was a very dangerous situation but when I did hit the trailer my car starts spinning we ended up like sideways on the road as you guys can see in the picture i will show the picture here as well so you guys can see how the car ended on the middle in the middle of the road and mommy told us about that what baby mom told us about that yeah mommy's car is broken yeah yeah but they're gonna fix it huh yeah yeah so obviously that first day i was very emotional and very like shook about everything that had happened and how i said it didn't hit me until a while later and when it did hit me like i could not stop crying i was just like sobbing so much because i just couldn't believe what had happened and i've never even had a ticket before like i've never gotten pulled over i don't have anything on my record so i promise you guys like i'm a good driver it was just a very bad situation and it was very hard and also like everything happens for a reason so i'm more at peace now and i'm just like you know like it already happened so we're just gonna have to deal with those consequences now you know my car needs to get fixed because it is pretty bad three of the tires broke the other car hit my back as well and then the side and the front and a little bit of the door the passenger door as well i cannot believe that i crashed my brand new car i've barely had it for two months and actually in this vlog i was gonna show you guys like me cleaning my car and also giving you guys like an update on how yeah. I feel about the car and everything like that but obviously that's not gonna happen I love my car so much though like I love yeah. that car so much and my car actually did break because it does break automatically it did break but obviously not fast enough <laughs> so I mean those cars new cars have a lot of like safety technology but it's still not good enough you know to avoid a crash it can help for sure but if you're gonna be in a crash you're gonna be in a crash like you know so anyways that's what happened the kids are completely fine amelie was freaking out she was like mommy i can't believe you crashed mommy you crashed you crashed like she just kept saying it and while she was saying it i was like in so much so much shock that i was just like stayed there for like five seconds and then I look back to look at the kids to make sure that they're all fine and they were all completely fine like nobody suffered any injuries whatsoever and you know what at the end of the day that is the most important thing and you appreciate life so much more when things like that happen to you because you just realize how important your health is and your baby's safety is so thankfully and they were what what happened huh what happened 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Okay, anyways, but uh, Cammy didn't react at all. She was just like quiet. She didn't really react. She didn't even scream or anything. Did you scream? Yeah. You did? No, you didn't. Yeah. Leo cried, I guess from the impact, but he was completely fine as well. And Amelie too. And my little sister-in-law did hurt her neck a little bit. I hurt my shoulder a little bit, but honestly, it just hurt for a tiny bit and I am completely fine now. But yeah, I wanted to tell you guys the story of how everything happened. We're all fine and um, now they're gonna fix my car. My car is not totaled, thankfully. The airbags didn't deploy because it wasn't a hit-on accident. It was on the side, which actually helped because if they would have maybe my car would have been totaled but they didn't so the guy reassured me that he's going to be able to fix it and we'll know for sure i think tonight or tomorrow but yeah i will give you guys updates on that and when i get my car back i'll i'll let you guys know i love that car so much so i'm hoping that that we're able to get it back to how it was but yeah that's what happened saturday and you ate candy. <laughs> yeah. The rest of the vlog, I will just be vlogging today and just to make it seem as normal as possible even though that situation happened. But it is what it is. We have to be positive and try to think, yeah, in a positive way. So all that matters is that we're good and that my babies are safe and healthy. How is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just in time because this boy just finished eating. Are you all done? Are you all done? Yeah. Base mm. of. Ah, so Leo's hair is getting pretty curly, as you guys can see. And it's getting crazy. So I think I'm gonna cut it when he turns one. So in less than two months, I will cut his hair for the very first time. He's just crawling on the counter. Leo. Hola. <laughs> I have to show you guys how hard it has been for me to change Leo every single time that I change his diaper or his outfit It's just it's a challenge you guys. So here we go. I just changed his diaper by the way Anybody else relate? Boys are crazy. Boys are crazy, yeah. Okay, he's on the boob now, but I literally run out of breath every single time that I try to change him. I usually try to like hold him down with one leg. I didn't do that this time because I wanted you guys to see how hard it is if I don't try to hold him down, but even then like he'll scream his head off. And yeah, he just, he never lets me change him. Changing a poopy diaper, oh my gosh. It could be messy for sure but anyways i wanted to show you guys a few things that i got the other day at walmart i'm actually like super impressed i went to walmart to pick up a few things and i passed by the baby section and i saw that they had like really cute boy clothes for like the fall time so i want to show you guys what i got so if you guys have any boys you guys can go and buy some of these outfits because i cannot believe how cute they are okay so here's what i got i am obsessed with everything that i got and i was so excited to show you guys so the first thing that i got is this really cute like flannel hoodie so freaking cute it was only it was ten dollars but it's perfect for the, for the fall time and then i do want to pair it with these really cute little like pants and they match the shirt pretty well and these ones were only four dollars i believe yeah they were only four dollars so this outfit right here is fourteen dollars and then i did get him these really cute jeans aren't these like wouldn't you think like these are so expensive they were only ten dollars and they are super soft and i do love like that the waistband is really comfortable for him and i got him everything in size 12 months and then i got this cute little hoodie this one was only i think three dollars or no, for 488. Super cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. This outfit. How freaking cute is this? It's a little set. It comes with this like cardigan with buttons and then it comes with this shirt and it says space travel and it's black and then it comes with the sweatpants. 
think this is such a cute little outfit and I cannot believe it's from Walmart. And then I got him this cute little like sleeper. This is from the, I think the organic Gerber brand and it's size 12 months and I think it was only like $6. And then I got him this really cute little set with a hoodie and then the matching pants and they have a ton of different colors and i wish i would have gotten other colors they have like a charcoal a blue a red an army green but i really liked this print i thought it was really cute and then i also got him these little shoes that look like vans I don't know where the other one went because he wore them during the weekend but how cute are these and these ones were only ten dollars compared to like vans which are like 35 40 dollars highly recommend for you guys to go check out the baby section at walmart if you have a baby boy or a baby girl or a toddler because these are pretty much to toddler sizes definitely go check it out before everything sells out because these things at walmart sell out super fast and by the way this really cute set was 13 dollars and then this other one I think was the same price. Yeah, it was $13.96, so pretty much $14. But for a three-piece set, like this is such a good price. And for the quality and just the style, I think it's pretty good. One, two, one, two. Is that fun? It's not fast. Not fast, huh? Not too fast. I am Leo. Let me put Leo in there. Here, Papa. You're ready? Sit back. Sit back and I'll put Leah right here. Wow. Ready? Look at how big Leo looks next to Cammy. Like what? You're growing so fast. Ready? Set? Go. I said the Oh my goodness. Oh. Careful! Ready? One, two... Woohoo! <laughs> Do we love it? Yeah. Yeah? A little or a lot? A lot. Do we love it? Uh, Are we loving it? Uh, yeah. Okay. He loves it. Oh! <laughs> Leo! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Papa! <laughs> so it is around noon and before I make lunch for the kids I'm gonna show them their new toys from Love Every so I have new boxes from Love Every that got here last week but I was waiting to film so I can show you guys and open them on camera let's take them to the playroom <gasps> whoa are you pushing them yeah. <laughs> Cammy said that it looks like a couch, so she's using it as a chair right now. So one of them is for Cammy and one of them is for Leo. He's still on the swing. I'm gonna go get him down before he falls. So we have the Explorer Play Kit that is for nine to 10 months. And then let me see that one. And then we also have the Observer, which is for 37, 38, and 39 months, which is pretty much for a three-year-old. So Love Every just came out with a new box, and this is the three-year-old one. So they didn't have play kits for three-year-olds, but now they do. So this is really exciting because this is the first box that they yeah. come out with for three-year-olds. And how old are you, Kelly? Uh, three. Good job. Ready? We're going to open it. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. What do you think, Kimmy? I don't know who it is. Look. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Look, Kimmy. What is this one doing? Uh, I don't know. Is that one happy? Yeah. And that one angry. That one angry. Yeah. Huh? And this one's crying. And that one's crying. And this one's sad. And that one's sad. Leo keeps knocking off, knocking down the camera. Yeah. So. Here are all the moods, so cute. It also comes with stickers. Stickers! Yeah, of animals. What is this? A neighbor. And what is this one? Uh, a frog. Good job, and this one? Uh, a butterfly. And this one? A pet. Good job, oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot with this kid. Why are you knocking down the camera? 
Yeah, Lena. Okay, you guys, so I just set everything out from both play kits so I can show you guys everything that came in the boxes. Here is Cammy's, and I just read like what it's each thing is for. So, right here, it tells you like what each thing is for. So, the stickers were actually for the left and right shoe stickers. So, that way they know like where the right shoe goes and where the left one goes. And then this one is the Plan Ahead weather board. So, pretty much, like I can practice is with Cammy uh, and I can ask her is it sunny or is it cloudy today what is it Cammy uh, it's that. sunny good job so you put it right here there you go and then it also like will teach her the days of the week what's today Cammy uh, Monday. Monday. And it also comes with a little car with two people. And then it comes with the house that I saw. And it comes with a bed as well. With stairs and a slide. And then it does come with a little door. And she can yeah. use her own keys to yeah. um, learn how to open the door. Three different books. So it's all about your emotions and your feelings. And then with the little emotion wooden toys. And before Leo comes, because he is very impatient, I'm gonna show you guys. So we have this for him to play with the ball. We have some wooden rings with a yeah. cylinder. Yeah. And then we have these like really fun scarves. How I feel book with the wooden egg cup. And, what's that part and egg then cup? with little grip canister sets. So he can learn how to like open them. So how fun is that? And then it also comes with his first little blocks, which we actually have a ton of those from Love Every as well. And then it comes with some cute little jingle keys. Oh. Look. Whoa. It's my turn. No, baby, that's not your toy. Go play with your toys. Straight to the mouth. <laughs> wow. Ponlo aquí. Ponlo aquí. Right here, baby. Anyways, so. I will leave a link down below to Love Every. We actually got that stroller last time. They sent us this one. It's for Leo to, you know, push it and start walking. And then literally all of these toys are from Love, Love Every, most of them that Leo has. He has like a ton of Love Every toys. That one, that one as well. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below because these toys are super educational. They are not obnoxious. They will play with them for so, so long and they will not get bored of them. So, I absolutely love them. It goes on top, mommy. It goes on top? You can put it wherever you want, baby. She's trying to read the instructions. <laughs> go, Leo, go. Go, Leo, go. Look at him. <gasps> I know. He's finally tall enough for this stroller. We opened it last month. Uh, he had what? Go bring me toy paper. I guess he grew a ton in a month because he used to not be able to reach it that well And now he is and look at him <gasps> Hi <laughs> You're doing so good. Thank you, baby Mocos no more mocos Come on oh. He's gonna crash. Yeah. Oh, no, he's gonna crash <laughs> Good job, Chocala, Chocala. No, he's like no, no. Chocala. Do you guys remember that last vlog? I think no, two vlogs ago, I showed you guys that we had like an actual uh, pumpkin patch out there on the garden. Well, Luis cleaned it up and he took out all the pumpkins because they were ready. So yesterday he cleaned it up and he brought all the pumpkins inside because we don't want them to go bad because of the sun. So he literally decorated the whole house with like a ton of pumpkins. Like I'm gonna be giving some of these away. We're not gonna keep all of them, but I do have a few favorite ones. This one's one of my favorites for sure. Look how pretty this one is. It's like a perfect shape and it's perfect for like the centerpiece. Luis put them all over the house as you guys will see. Have another one right here and this one you guys has like some of the sugar from the inside just like spilled out of it and we tried it and it is so so good. Like this whole thing. Look at this. 
and it tastes so yummy. So he has more on here, and then this one grew not that long ago, and he pulled it out, <laughs> but look how cute and tiny it is. And then he decorated the fireplace, which I actually, I'm really liking how these are looking just like that. I think they look so cute. I wanted to put some down here, but Leo is gonna come and knock them off, but I think they look really cute up there. So the kids are playing in the sandbox, and they're gonna be in there for a little bit. You found mud? Yeah, because it rained the other day. Yeah. While they play in the sandbox, I'm gonna go pick out some tomatoes from the garden. You guys, all of our flowers are just like drying out and they're not looking so cute anymore. So don't mind that. These ones are still super beautiful. But uh, we still have so many tomatoes. It's actually insane. But I'm gonna pick some out and fill up this bowl with as many tomatoes as I can. I just finished dinner so I'm gonna show you guys real quick what we're going to be having for dinner today so I just made my own little taco shells we are going to be having chicken tacos I saw this recipe on TikTok, so I will leave a link down below but pretty much we're going to fill up the hi oh by the way I'm Ellie's back from school I didn't vlog me picking her up but She's been back for like an hour and a half, but we're gonna fill these up with chicken and then I'm gonna add tomatoes, I mean lettuce, tomatoes. I also bought this sauce the other day at Walmart. So this is salsa roja, it's for tacos. So we're gonna see how this tastes. And then I'm also going to be adding some sour cream on top here is what my tacos look like i also added mexican cheese which i forgot to mention that i was also adding that but they look so bomb so if you guys want to try it out i'll leave the recipe down below okay so dinner is done and the kids are out here playing and amelie wants to show you guys how she can do a cartwheel ready wow so cool yeah that was really good okay go oh careful careful with your brother <laughs> Bring him to me, please. Yeah, I know. Here you go. <laughs> now Leo's gonna show you guys his trick. <laughs> Come on. Come on, let's go. He got it. He got it. Look at him. He climbed the whole thing all by himself. Yay! He did it! Oh my goodness. Ready, set, go. Woohoo! Oh! <laughs> he is such a boy and he's just like getting into everything every day, climbing everything. And he is not scared of anything. You're not scared of anything. Okay, so here's the whole family. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Stay tuned for an update on the situation. We'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.